Why do birds only shit on your car? This is probably something that you've thought to yourself if you own a car. You've just washed your car, you parked it outside overnight, you come out the next day and your entire car is plastered in black and white and literally nowhere else in the concrete or asphalt pavement do you see any bird poop. Why do birds only target your car when executing their daily air raids? This is the question I will try to figure out in this video. First of all, why am I concerned about this issue? Can't I just you know, wipe it off. Yes, but it's a huge pain in the ass when you have a freshly waxed car and you have to scrape off the crusty bird so you don't damage the surface or smear it all over. It's even more of a pain if one of every species of birds has decided to use your car as a public toilet, which has happened to me a couple times. Also, bird poop is extremely acidic and will literally melt through your paint if you don't clean it right away. You can see where one of the previous owners of my car left some poop on the hood and it's bare aluminum in a poop decal. If you don't drive your car every day, you may never notice there's a blob of acid just eating through your paint overnight. So I started thinking about this. My first guess as to why this was happening was, I'm just unlucky. I may have just parked under a tree that birds tend to find comfortable. Maybe they were just randomly flying over and happened to poop precisely on the middle of the roof where it's the most difficult to reach to clean, or the bird just really needed to go for a waz. Think about it, a lot of stuff that happened in the real world are complete coincidences, but we humans tend to notice and pay attention to things that are much closer to us. Humans are curious animals and want to create a correlation with everything. But then I started noticing something. My car that I have to park outside is a glossy dark blue and purple wagon, and I always try to wash it once a week if the weather permits, so it's usually pretty damn clean. Usually within a day of me parking there, a bunch of birds find a way to smother my car in their excretions. I get mad, take the L, and clean up the mess. There would be no bird poop anywhere else, say on the concrete pavement, but I never really thought anything of it. But sometime mid-January, I bought a gray, water-resistant car cover because I got tired of these winged assholes pooping on my car. It was pretty cheap, like 170 something dollars, but it had great reviews and it was sized specifically for my car. When I put it on the first time, some stupid bird decided to drop a bomb right on the hood within like 10 minutes, but at least all I had to do was just wipe it off with some soapy water and a paper towel because it was fresh. I was on winter break so I didn't have to daily drive it so I would let it sit for a week at most but the next time I would go out to drive it there would be zero bird poop. I was like cool and again didn't think much of it. In February there was a storm with stupid strong winds that managed to blow my cover off and the car got dirty and you're not really supposed to put a cover on a dirty car so I just left it off. The next day, however, I needed to drive to buy some parts for my computer and what do you know, I counted 32 blobs of poop all over my car and this happened again in a different storm a week later. This experience made me come up with two new hypotheses. One is that birds tend to poop on cars with brighter colors. The second is that birds tend to poop on shiny stuff. Now, let's take a look at them. In 2012, Halfords, a British retailer of automotive and cycling products, conducted a study which analyzed 1,140 cars in the UK over two days and what color cars like to take a dump on the most. They found out that birds vandalize 18% of red cars, 14% of blue cars, and so on, shown right here. So there you go, red and blue cars are more likely to get pooped on. Don't buy these cars. Thank you very much for watching. So that's good that just the color was figured out, but I thought there were just a bunch of questions and conditions that weren't really clear from any articles that I've read. Like, where were all these cars parked? Were they outside, under a tree, under power lines, or in a garage? Did the car get pooped on the day they were surveyed, or have they been on there for a while? How many of each color car was surveyed? The math would come out to 190 of each color car, but I feel like that'd be quite difficult to organize as no one buys green cars. Also, they called it a study, but it seems like it was more of a survey, and there was wasn't anything that said that the research team actually went around to over a thousand cars to make observations, so there absolutely could have been a case where some people didn't respond or they did respond but incorrectly. The other part of this study was to gather data on how quickly people clean bird poop off their cars, so this was most likely to promote their bird poop cleaning and detailing products. So far, the evidence, albeit from only one study, shows that birds tend to poop on certain colors more than others, although I'm a, still a bit iffy on that. But what about the glossiness of a surface? 
While doing research, I found a bunch of Yahoo answers and cooler responses saying that birds poop on mirrors and water and get intimidated when they see a reflection, thinking that it's just another bird. They said they like shiny surfaces because they think it's water and all sorts of weird pseudoscientific conspiracies. I found literally no actual research that's proven that birds poop more on shiny surfaces and almost every single article I could find referred just back to the survey by Halfords. I was able to find some legitimate information about bird behavior though and all of them claim that the majority of bird species cannot control when they poop due to their weird anatomies except for a few certain species. So this almost seems to completely disprove all the claims that birds intentionally poop on shiny or colored surfaces. Because of the lack of information online, I decided to do a bit of observation myself. For a week, I kept my cover on a car, and for another week, I left the cover off. Like I mentioned before, my car's pretty shiny as I keep it as clean as possible. Every day, around the same time, I counted how many bird droppings I had on my car, then wiped them off for the next day if I had any. I recorded high and low temps and the weather to see if weather affected anything as well, and controlled the location and orientation I parked. Obviously, I can't change the color of my car, other than the car cover that's gray and non-reflective. I'm hoping this should either confirm my hypothesis and the these internet people's claims that birds tend to poop on shiny surfaces or that I'm just extremely unlucky. And here are the res results. Um, yeah, out of the seven days that I had the cover on, I had three droppings on the second day and on the nine that I had my cover off, I had zero. Now, as you can see, there are some conditions I couldn't control, mostly the weather. On the days that I had the cover off, it was freezing or near freezing for the most part, and then when the cover was off, it was much, much warmer. When I came up with the idea for this video, the birds were shitting everywhere, it was freezing all the time. Do birds tend to poop more when it's cold? I have no idea. Four of the nine days with the cover off were rainy. According to many services, this could have reduced the chance that birds are active, therefore reducing the chance of getting an airstrike hit. Okay, but they still have five days to destroy my car if the hypothesis that birds tend to poop over shiny surfaces are true. Could the rain have washed away the bird poop? Possibly, but from my experience that would be unlikely because there would be streaks plus bird poop is super resilient to any outside force. So what can we conclude from today's video? Maybe humans in general tend to behave as if everything that happens around them has to involve them in any way. They don't consider their common sense and want to blame everything on everyone else. There's literally no information about whether birds like a certain environmental color more. We saw that birds don't care whether the ground's shiny or not, and we know that almost all birds can't control when they want to defecate. So what's the conclusion then? I would say it depends but it's not the bird's fault. They have no control over their daily habits, and humans are supposed to be more intelligent than them, so we're supposed to do something about it, right? So what do we do? Well, it's hard to control birds without using some pseudoscientific methods, but there are ways to prevent stuff from falling onto your car, such as don't park under a tree, under a roof, power lines, or any structure where it's possible for a bird to land. Park in a garage if possible, and if you don't have a garage space or are stuck having to park in those locations, get a car cover, or if it's too expensive, be sure to walk around and look out at the car every day and clean up any droppings using a soft microfiber cloth you don't mind getting dirty and some detailing products. I use a waterless wash and wax to clean mine up. Don't use soapy water because that will destroy your wax. So there you go. Why do birds specifically poop on your car? It's cause you suck and the birds hate you. No, it's cause you just happened to be under a bird when it was taking a dump. Thank you so much for watching to the end. <laughs> Sorry for the lack of uploads. It's been a bit busy and honestly a bit lazy making this video. I hope to be making a bit more videos often cause the uploads have been really slow on this channel, but I also don't really want to sacrifice quality for quantity. I did get a new gimbal because my old one broke on a job, so maybe the quality on actual videos will get even better. Happy face. Again, thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you liked it, dislike if you dislike it, and let me know about your experiences with bird poop in the comments. Also, if you have any more info about bird behavior, let me know as well. Alright, I will see you in the next video. See ya.